ways by by simply thanking them or um, commending them on what they've done right, things like that. And like as a family, I always like to to make sure na kumpay to sila sa lahat ng bagay. We have everything that they need. That's how I show my love to them. Uh, I want the same thing then. Um, I always want to make the male adults happy every day. I uh, try to give them everything that they want, they need, and so that they can feel pagmamalgo sa kanila. And I always remind them every day. Kasi uh, sa narito sa character ni Jay, I remember my dad before. Then after that, na, I would realize, even in school before, la nahihiya ako. Pag, may, pag minsan nakita ko dad sa school, nahihiya ako kasi syempre iba, ibang kakalasi ko. Lahat, parang kada, parang nobody, parang ay, daddy's boy ito, parang gano'n, at sino sundo pa. So, narealize ko parang, swerte pala ako, kasi yung dad ko nandun yung ibang wala. So, inisip ko, dapat, the days, hindi ako nahiya sa akin. Kaya, I always want to remind everybody that I want to be able to do. Meron pang follow-up, Jude. Thank you so much. Next, syempre magkatanong naman si Madam na katabi ni Jude. Pakilala po tayo at syempre ang ating mga blog site. Gusto natin mababasa, mawawatch, ganyan. My name is Maya from GuideHeartTV.net. Um, my question is, um, para po kay Gerald, Liza, and Enrique, who will you choose? The person uh, of your dream or the person who, who will make your dream of Uh, para sa akin, kasi minsan when you when you're when you're young para sa akin or when you have your dreams for yourself, sometimes that changes when you meet the person that you love. You know, para nagiba yung priorities mo. So para sa akin, it really depends on how my life would be, how I would be as a person pagkasama ko yung tao which would match perfectly, which would fit together perfectly, which, you know, would make me happier. Basta at the end of the day, dapat masaya ako, both ways. Sa kasama ko at sa mga dreams na gusto ko, ito pa rin. So para sa akin, um, it really depends sometimes, but if I, had, if I had to choose, I would pick someone that would make me the best of who I am. And in, in a way, fulfill my dreams. Dreams change constantly. So, syempre pagbata tayo, ini-imagine natin, ah, gusto ko pagbata yung boyfriend ko, ganto, yung ganto, yan. Pero when you grow up, you start realizing that you want different things. And paano kapag, like, tinatak mo sa isip mo na, you just want this kind of man. But then, when you meet him one day, parang, ah, hindi pala ako masaya. Um, he's what I wanted. But does he give, does he, am I what he wants? Parang ganun. So in order for you guys to work that out, you para you have to adjust to what he wants, parang gano. So for me, I would always choose the person who makes my dreams come true because um, the dream of a person is just to be happy, to live a happy life. So see where you go. Thank you, candidate number two. <laughs> Um, siguro po, the person of my dreams, kasi the person of my dreams will make my dreams come true. Kung maga, pangarap ko siya eh. Kung nakuha ko siya, ibig sabihin yung pangarap ko na ito pa din. And, uh, you don't dream of someone na ayaw mo, <laughs> or hindi kayo magkakasundo, di ba, or di ba. So, um, the person of my dreams will inspire me to fulfill my dreams. Another question po, for this Do you know the song with my name, right? Yeah. Can you give me a stanza from that song? Na-dedicate ko sa isa-isa. Stanza ka lang. Singing B. Try sentence lang. Kailangan ko matlapin. Maybe all we need is time. Pag-alinig mo na kami. Kung alam nyo na. Napag-isip. Maybe all we need is time. Something's 
<laughs> Next question, sir. Is that yes, a good question? Yeah, hi. Good afternoon. I'm George True from Habanke. I'd like to ask the cast, uh, what is your favorite scene in the movie? And uh, for direct, the question ko po, uh, parang yung story nila, correct me if I'm wrong, parang somewhat similar to a Hollywood uh, blockbuster before you, while Why you were sleeping, sleeping, starring Sandra yeah. Bullock. Did you draw or get inspiration from the movie? Yeah, okay. thank you. Favorite scene? No, while you were sleeping by Sandra Bullock. Oh. Um, the, I think the only similarity there is that um, meron comatose. Um, yun lang yung similarity. Because in, in while you were sleeping, she pretended to be the fiancé of the guy. Crush niya yun eh. Crush niya yung guy na, na, ano, na, na ano sa train. Wrong ko man na talaga no, fan. Um, tapos nun, she pretended to be the fiancé. And eventually, she fell in love with the brother. This one, it's totally different. The only, you know, common denominator yun eh. This, ano, is the comatose of element. Um, here kasi, uh, they, the three of them, I mean, like, si Ethan, the character of Enrique, he doesn't know. Hindi niya kilala yung dalawa talaga. So, and these two are, um, what says, they've been together for a long time na. Parang, mayroon silang history. So, yun yung big difference. Ang laki nung ano. Ang laki talaga. Malayo yung kwento. Um, meron din mga nagsabi na this is also similar to kahit isang yeah, saglit of, ano, of um, Jolo, Juday, and Diagro. Again, the only common denominator is that someone is comatose. So, um, well, yun naman, ang difference is that mag-best friend yung dalawa, tapos nun, they like the same girl. And then the whole time, nag-hover yung spirit ni, ano, ni Leandro. Um, I know kasi I'm the AD there. So, <laughs> pero nakakatagal sa industry, ha? Pero yun, so that's the only similarity. 51st date. Ah, 51st date. Pero ito, this is different talaga. Actually, pinunod ko yun, 51st days, para sa movie na to. Kasi siyempre, uh, ano ba talaga? Ano favorite scene? Ano favorite scene? Oh, favorite scene? Wow. Uh, ako siguro yung pinalabas po sa trailer. Uh, yung tinignan, ah, uh, kaka. Pwede ko ba ikaw? Kung gusto ko ito tayo? I remember that. Um, kakagali ko lang po sa hospital. Nagising ako. And, hindi ko po siya makalala, obviously. Uh, hindi ko po makalala yung girlfriend ko na si Audrey. And, uh, hindi ko kwento siya. She shows me a lot of videos and everything about na kung sino ako. And marami pong mga pictures dun sa hospital bed ko. Pero hindi ko siya talaga maalala. And then she takes me back to this, to my house. Yung house na sobrang mahal na mahal ko. Uh, kasi it's, it's been in my family for a long time. And uh, gusto ko siya i-restore uh, before I was in the accident. Uh, so, nandito kami sa harapan ng bahay. And she does this. Basta may ginawa siya. Basta may ginawa po siya. Hindi ko secret. Ang bakit niya ko ginawa niya. Pero may ginawa po siya. And then, bumalik yung yung kalaala ko from the past. Our relationship. And it was, it was a beautiful scene. Buti nga kung ginamit sa trailer. It was a beautiful scene. So, yun po yung favorite ko. Thank you, Jarrell. Thank you. Next, Eliza Shepard, a beautiful, uh, no, no, favorite scene. It was very dirty. That's the new favorite scene. So bang bang. favorite scene ko yung uh, sumasaya kami sa scooter. Tapos siya nagmamaneho. Oh my God, it was scary. It was scary. Tapos <laughs> sa <laughs> scooter. Hindi ko nagkakas scooter. Basta ka ang kaso. Ah, okay. Ayun. So, yun ang pinaka-favorite. Bakit nakatakot? Hindi, magaling naman siya. Anyway, nung una lang na, na, natakot ako. But, you know, she handled it well. No? Yun ang pinaka-favorite. It was really fun. And, ayun, it was just nice. You view everything. It's nice. Ay, may isa pa lang ang favorite. Ayan, may additional pa. May favorite scene pa siya. Lahat ng scenes favorite scene. Right? Then, may isang scene na uh, kakashoot lang namin the other day, or kahapon yata, um, nasa nag-lunch po kami uh, with the family. And si Ethan, si uh, Miguel, nasa tapat ko. And 
uh, alam mo yung mga sulyap sulyap you're looking at this guy he's like gusto mo yung girlfriend ano? but you're not y- y- parang tinatansya mo pa and then he's looking at me na parang nagswerte mo talaga swerte mo mahal niya so yung it was really a simple so, so simple lang na eksena pero ang dami yes. nangyayari ang dami na it was very tense lalo na sa aming tatlo na wala namang kaalam-alam yung mga <laughs> uh, kasama namin yung buong pamilya namin but uh, yun uh, sana po kapag nangyayari Thank you so much. Next, Ning Buning. Ayan. The question. Ito na eh. Which one? Hello, I'm Ning. Sorry. Ayan. Go, Ate Ning. Ayan. Since pinag-uusapan na rin namin natin yung mga scenes na favorite nyo, may question, may follow-up question ako dun na parang ano yung difficult naman? Without spoiling anything. Yung difficult scene to execute para sa inyo, which I'm going to make a new scene. 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 I'm Because they really wanted to change me when it's when they started. So I really wanted a different than we get something about something that you've never seen, something before. Because even dun sa script there's some words that we guy hindi ko pa pwede sabihin. <laughs> As in yung character ni Ethan, so they really wanted to change me more mature. Basta yung hindi yung makulit, yung magalaw, they wanted to be stiff. And it was as hard for me to you know to be. So I'm being like, alam mo kiti kiti kana naman. Oh, ita na ita, so you know, lagging na kapag tayo siya So this is a challenge for me. Something not I'm not used to, kasi. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, thanks. How about you? Uh, yung pinakamahirap ang time. Honestly, yung natutulog po ako sa hospital. <laughs> so mga <laughs> seryoso, kahit yes. talagang pa siya. Hate na hate ko yung scenes niya, kasi nandun na ako. Nakahiga ako doon for one hour, magsichange ang setup ako. Dito naman yung camera, andun pa rin ako ng gaytay. Tapos yung wala, wala naman ako ginagawa. Tapos naiigit ako kasi ang ganda ng mga eksena. Tapos minsan, during the take, uh, nakadilat ako ng slide para puno rin sila. <laughs> um, honestly, yun yung pinakamahirap para sa akin. Siyempre, nagigigil ako kasi gusto ko gumalaw. Gusto ko, eh, may ADHD pa naman ako. So, gumagano ko, maggalawa ko eh. So, so yun po yung pinakamahirap para sa akin. May moment ba na nakatulog ka talaga? Oo. <laughs> <laughs> talaga nakatulog siya. Tapos nakat na, Gerard. Hindi, <laughs> justify ko naman yun. Meron naman talaga ako. Nakatulog talaga ako. Dahil uh, galing naman din ako taping ng Nathaniel. Tapos dumaretso pa ako dito. So buti na lang ganyan yung eksena kasi tulog talaga ako. Pero nung naka- nagising ako, Next yun pa rin yung eksena ko. <laughs> Pihiga na naman ako. So yun yung pinakamahirap para sa akin. Mahirap yes, mahirap i-shoot, i-execute na. Mahirap itawid. Yes. Um, mahirap itawid. Uh, mahirap actually, ano eh, yung timpla talaga ng film. I mean, in in general, lahat ng scenes, of course. Kasi this is not my, ano eh, my normal, ano, um, genre. Rom-com madalas ginagawa ko. So, light and gano'n. Ito kasi, it's rom-dram. So, um, yung timpla ng not to go too heavy, not to go too light, and at the same time, yung pag- pagiging real ng characters nila. Um, for Enrique, the challenge was, yun na nga, alam na natin, isa siyang nga, no, kitikiti. Kahit nakahimik lang siya na scene, yung ulo niya pa, hindi, ma- hindi niya makadurga. Ganun. Parang, siya, stop it, you have that involuntary bobbing of your head. Oh, yeah. Magano siya talaga, kahit that, stop, what's that, 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 that. Si, ano naman, si Hope, given ang complex yung, ano, yung pinagdadaanan niya dito. And we know naman how old she is lang and that she hasn't experienced anything like it. So to draw those emotions from her and to also, um, for her to be able to convey those, ano, those emotions, yun, challenge din yun. For Je, it's to differentiate him. Kasi, di ba, I mean, he's coming from Nathaniel, he's coming from a lot of projects. We work together, and iba yung characters na nagawa niya with me. So, it's also a challenge. How do I differentiate him? So, each scene, individually and um, together, 
ano siya talaga, um, challenge. Lahat sila challenging sa akin. So every scene talaga, okay. <laughs> Ganun, parang hindi siya ano, talagang do 